There's some European countries are now mandating medical grade masks to, to try and slow the spread. How important is it for the American healthcare workers and the general public to have medical grade masks like the N95s available to them? Yeah. Yeah, I actually have one here. So this is, uh, if you can see this, this is an N95 mask. This is the mask I wear in the hospital. Mm -hmm. You know, I've worn masks like this since, uh, since March. An N95 mask is basically composed of these sort of stacked fibers which have these microscopic voids and it traps particles. But the secret of, of this mask is that it actually has an electrostatic charge that traps the virus. I don't understand why this hasn't been uh, manufactured using the Defense Production Act so that every American can have this. When you wear this mask uh, and it fits tightly around your face, I'm not going to say it's impossible to, to become infected, but it becomes much less probable. This is really what everyone should be wearing in, in, in public, except it's very hard for the public uh, to find these. So what the public can find are KN95 uh, masks, uh, which if, if they fit properly, and, and you can tell if you wear glasses like me, if, they fit, if it's fit really properly, your glasses won't fog. Uh, and I would wear this now in public, uh, either an N95 or a KN95 mask. If you find an N95 mask that has a valve in it, that's not really great for the rest of uh, the people that you meet because you're exhaling through it. But if you find that mask, you can wear a cloth mask over that. Uh, but with the more uh, uh, contagious uh, uh, variants that are circulating around the country, if you can find a KN95 or an N95 mask, that's what you should wear. Dr. Reiner, thank you, sir. Have a good weekend. My pleasure, Don. The Biden administration requiring masks on all federal properties is part of the president's effort to promote mask wearing to slow down the spread of the pandemic. CNN's Dr. Sanjay Gupta has the story now. From day one, a change. Mask up for 100 days. Masks, a top priority for the new administration. And still one of our most useful tools to fight the pandemic. The steps we're all taking uh, to make sure that we are safe, he is safe, you are all safe. Those include daily testing uh, when we're in the White House. It includes wearing N95 masks. The masks have become a partisan issue, unfortunately, but it's a patriotic act. Oh, wow. We know two important things. People should wear masks in public, and not all masks are equal. The quality of your cloth mask depends on its fabric and the number of layers. Studies have shown they could be as low as 26% effective. But the N95 masks that some aides are wearing in the White House, 95% effective. Even better than the surgical masks I wear in the operating room. This is critical, and Harvard Medical School's Dr. Abrar Karan is now advocating N95 masks for all. If for four weeks the country essentially wore these masks in those risky settings like that indoors, what kind of difference do you think it would make? This, this would stop the epidemic. It's an extraordinary statement. Four weeks to essentially stop the pandemic. We're not talking about vaccines here or some sort of new magical therapeutic. Just a properly fitted $5 N95 mask, as you see here in this video. We know now that aerosols uh, spread best when there is uh, poor ventilation, crowding, and uh, close contact that's prolonged. And so we were arguing that actually those settings, cloth masks alone are not going to block aerosols. Remember, aerosols, like a puff of smoke, are those tiny particles that can hang in the air and are small enough to travel through or around some face masks. And the new variants, even more transmissible, make masks like these more necessary. That's because the N95 mask has a secret weapon a unique electrostatic filter that traps neutral particles like bacteria or viruses and polarizes those particles before they can pass through the mask. Think of it like how socks get stuck to a blanket in the dryer. If we have better personal protection for people, they can more safely go back to work. Other experts have advocated for N95s as well, like former FDA Commissioner Scott Gottlieb, who wrote this. An N95 or equivalent mask offers the best protection. Some European countries are currently finalizing rules requiring N95 masks in shops and on public transportation. 
And now more than a year into the pandemic, the Biden administration is also ramping up the Defense Production Act to make more N95s available for healthcare workers who still don't have enough. And then hopefully for the rest of the population as well. Make masks part of American culture to stop the epidemic. The key here is to always wear a mask whenever you're in public. The ability to control the spread is in our hands and on our faces. So here is the N95 mask. I can tell you, having worn these masks for some time, uh, they can be uncomfortable if you're wearing them for long periods of time, and they can also be hard to get. But it is worth pointing out that the KN95 uh, are a lot easier to obtain. These are similar masks. They're actually manufactured out of China, and they now have an emergency use authorization here in the United States because they have similar performance to the N95. So it's, it's just the most important thing Wear a mask, obviously, whenever you go out in public, but if it's in a particularly high-risk situation where you may be around a lot of people, wearing the best mask possible is going to give you the most protection. With COVID-19 deaths still far too high, a blunt admission. Did the lack of candor, did the lack of facts in some cases over the last year cost lives? You know, it very likely did. More than 411,000 lives lost, nearly 4,000 more added just yesterday. Nationwide, average new cases are down by more than 20% over the past week. One trouble spot, Virginia, where that number is moving in the opposite direction, up a staggering 19%. While overall hospitalizations are declining. Now, just under 10% of inpatient beds in the state are being used for patients with COVID-19. Hot spots remain. As soon as you start to tend to a situation to try to get your berries with that, quickly another emergency arises. In California, ICU availability is at an all-time low. Hard hit Los Angeles adding virus warning signs in high-risk areas. We wanted to make it as powerful, as, as colorful as possible. The CDC sparking confusion with new guidance about the coronavirus vaccine, now advising it's okay to wait as long as six weeks between doses. You're taking a chance. Dr. Fauci walking that initial reaction back just hours later. Sometimes the situation is stressed where it's very difficult to be exactly on time. So we're saying you could probably do it six weeks later. There's no disagreement at all between me and the CDC. Meantime, many eligible Americans still struggling to get their first dose. You get a busy signal or no answer. Six in 10 people still don't know where or when they can get a vaccine, according to a new study. We are just learning as we go and it's been painful. The most common issue, supply. Our biggest limiting factor right now is vaccine. Florida cracking down on vaccine tourism to ensure enough doses for residents. The FDNY pulling back on planned vaccinations as New York City stock runs low. Meantime, it won't look like this, but Super Bowl 55 will allow 22,000 fans to watch the big game in person. Among them, some 7,500 vaccinated health care workers. And we hope that this program will be a small way to celebrate you, honor you, and most importantly, thank you.